I'm gonna give you the five best chest exercises to increase a pump inside your pecs and to get them stronger. We're gonna start right now. What's up everybody, it's Dane Miller from GarageStrength.com and if this is your first time to the channel and you're interested in getting a bigger pump, you wanna get bigger, you wanna get stronger, you wanna get more swole, make sure that you like, you subscribe, and you ring that notification bell so we can help you get you. So a lot of guys come to the gym and they sit there and they go, my pecs are small, I've got no strength, my bench is pathetic, my dumbbell bench is sad, I have no idea what to do. And they're constantly wondering how can they increase the size of their pecs? How can they increase the amount that they're actually bench pressing? How can they increase their dumbbell bench? Anything along these lines, right? And so there's a lot of different factors that go into play here. One, we have to get stronger in our upper body. We have to get stronger in our pecs. If we can get stronger from that anterior perspective, we can also grow, okay? The stronger we are, the bigger, the, the muscular hypertrophy that we're gonna be capable of achieving. So it's important that we understand you've gotta get stronger. You have to increase strength, but you also, if we have people who tend to uh, struggle with coordination in their pecs, then we need to do some pre-fatigue. If we do some pre-fatigue exercises, now they can then be a little bit more coordinated when they're actually getting on movements that can really stimulate growth from their pecs. So we're gonna go through a couple of these different movements. It's gonna help you. You can take these exercises today, go to the gym and apply it directly into your workout. Okay, so we talked about pre-fatigue and what does that mean? That means that we are going to be doing a, a simple isolation movement for an area and then follow it up with a big compound movement. And what we want to see is we want to see a slight bit of fatigue, a little bit of tension, and then give your body about 30 seconds of recovery. And then you're going to get onto that big lift. And that big lift is where we're going to try and stimulate some serious sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. So what we want to do here for chest growth is that we've got our power elastic bands available at garagestrength.com. Click on the link down below. We've got two of them. This is our HAF band. Okay, this is our general strength band. And if we wrap this around right here on a post, on an immovable object, don't become a meme, you can sit here and you can do five standing. Now, what I would recommend is start, if you've got, if you can bench press over 400 pounds, you could definitely use the HAF band, even I'd say 315, but we can sit here and we wanna have that wrapped right around our elbows, okay? And when we get to the front, we wanna push this together, get that little contraction. Now we should feel in the pecs here, and as we get deeper, feel it in the external pecs. Now, a lot of flies depend on what our humerus is doing, okay? So a lot of people forget that the humerus is a key factor behind how much lengthening we're gonna get out of the pecs. So if we can get that humerus nice and deep, now our pecs are gonna lengthen, okay? We go through that full pre-fatigue. Now we're gonna rest about 20 to 30 seconds. Try and play around with your grip. When a lot of guys bench press, some dudes bench press with a more narrow grip and they get a bigger pump in their chest because of what the humerus is doing. Play around with where you're comfortable. I recommend not going super, super wide because it's actually gonna be a lot more stress on your shoulders, okay? So I wanna see, for me, it's gonna be right around 18 inches here. And I get a little bit of a lift off. I wanna go down nice and slow and you can see where my humerus is and drive up. And I wanna really focus on contraction while my shoulder blades are squeezing the bench, okay? Down, up. And then if I sit there, maybe I come in a little bit, get a couple more reps, real deep stretch. And this will target my triceps a little bit too, but because of where the humerus is being in relation to my pecs, I'm gonna get that good pec pump. And those are the first two exercises that we're gonna utilize to increase the size of your chest. Okay, so that next exercise is an incline fly. And I, I actually love doing the banded incline fly first, okay? Here, and you can even sometimes come up from the bottom. When you come up from the bottom, you get the full pec, okay? The entire pec. If I'm at the top, it's mainly gonna be pec major. If I wanna go from the bottom, I want pec minor and major together. Okay, so it depends on where you struggle to feel what your chest is doing, okay? I can already feel a nice pump from these power elastics, right? Right here, rest about 15 to 20 seconds. I like to do some dumbbell flies, and one of the things that I'll think about is I'm actually hugging a large tree, okay? So it'll be here, down, back up. Boom. And it's better to have your eyes like straight up towards the ceiling, come up, and feel that. The big thing here is the dumbbells are gonna cause that big stretch in the deep position, okay? 
and supersetting that with power elastic flies, the band's gonna give that big tension at the full range. So you're gonna have bo both good points of flexion and that's gonna lead to that good pec pump and chest growth. Okay, so a lot of kids, especially a lot of kids who struggle with when they get back into dumbbell benching and they want you to pick up the dumbbells and lift them up for them. That oftentimes means that they have extremely weak pecs. So one thing that you can do, and this is for anybody out there, is utilize a movement where you have a more narrow, eccentric, you crank those out a little bit and then you have like a fly press. So I call these a dumbbell fly press. Okay, so the key factor here that I like is forcing the athlete to start here. Okay, start in the bottom position. They come out just a little bit, press. So they're gonna come down nice and slow. So what you do is you can overload your triceps, okay? You can use heavier dumbbells because you're, you're dumbbell benching. So you overload the triceps, you come out, and then as you come out, you do a, a fly into a press. So overload the triceps. So this is gonna help your lockout in the bench, which is also going to, when you get to the fly, help your coordination. It's gonna lead to bigger bench press. It's gonna lead to bigger chest growth and stronger pecs. So this is a movement that you could do for five sets, you know, eight to 12 reps, somewhere along those lines. It's gonna help your shoulder girdle. You're just gonna help your pressing capability and your overall muscular hypertrophy. Okay. Now we're getting into the absolute best way that I think that you can really light up your chest and that's using an explosive movement in conjunction with a movement that you have to have a little bit more stability. So we're gonna start off with ring push-ups. So ring push-ups, you're gonna be a little bit more unstable. You're gonna be sitting here shaking and what ends up happening is that you're gonna recruit a little bit more of those high threshold motor units from your prime movers a lot quicker. Okay, and you're gonna be flexing your trunk. So that's gonna help provide a little bit more of trunk stability. So we'll get in this push-up position here. Okay, and we'll go nice and deep and squeeze when we get to that bottom position, come up, squeeze at the top. And when we squeeze at the top, we're gonna start to feel that in our pecs. Nice and deep, come up. Now the other key factor, I'm shaking, behind the, the rings is that I can get a little bit deeper range of motion. And if you notice, I don't have the rings super low. I have them at a height where it is gonna hit my pec minor while also hitting pec major, okay? And when I'm at the top, I'm squeezing, Ooh. Okay, so we'll do, you know, you could do anywhere about six to 10 of those. You could use a band if you don't have, if you don't have rings. And now I like to do what I call gorilla, pe uh, gorilla push-ups. I'm trying to figure out how I could use this rope because I like to use something to jump over side to side. So let's go like this here. And my whole goal with gorilla push-ups, I'm gonna be explosive and I'm gonna go on a side to side angle. So I'll be here, boom, boom. And so when you're catching, you have to decelerate and you're changing direction off of each pec side to side. So we're gonna be more explosive. You're gonna be fully recruiting your high threshold motor units. You're gonna be supersetting that with the ring push-ups, which is gonna do the same. It's gonna fatigue you. Your chest will be lit up, it'll be pumped. And you can utilize this today in the gym to get that chest pump. If you want help building a chest, click on the link down below, pick up our big chest builder program today to get that nice pump. If you want more content around improving your strength in your pecs, increasing your bench, Click on this card right here. Until next time, guys, peace.